Day 14. It's double. Oh, it's the two little people. The villagers. They're pretty easy to build. There we go. There's one. Here's number two. Move still. Okay, here's his feet. And here's his head. I'm here at Hudson School for his Christmas program. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. He's excited. He's been practicing a lot. So, should be fun. I'll try to film a little bit of it, um, but we'll see. It's kind of crowded, and I, I have camera issues when there's lots of people. So, anyway, let's go in. Hi friends, it's December 14th, Vlogmas Day 14, and um, here we are. I've done zero knitting today. Um, I kind of had a busy day and none of it involved knitting, which is okay because, um, you know, you need time for everything. So I dropped my son off at school this morning and then ran some errands and I hurried home because every month I do a uh, FaceTime chat with my cousin from Iowa and uh, that was scheduled for today. So we enjoyed about a two hour, a little over two hour chat, um, which was nice. It was good to catch up and um, 
you know, see how she's doing and um, her family. So gearing up for Christmas in that mode. So, um, and then I ate a quick lunch and hurried out because my son's uh, school was doing a Christmas program. Um, so we just got home from that. We actually hit the grocery store on the way back home. So, um, yeah. So here we are. The end of the day, it's almost five and zero knitting. Now I did do a bunch of knitting on mittens for his teacher. Um, so I was kind of pushing that to get it done. So it was okay. I'm, I may knit tonight. In fact, I have another project in mind um, for my husband. And this is no surprise for him because um, I think I showed this too, actually. I am going to do, whoop, got multiple things going on here. I'm gonna do socks for him for Christmas. And um, he likes this Patton's Croy um, sock, FX. So it's 100% wool. I, does it have nylon? Oh no. Yeah, so it's 75% wool and then the rest, 25% is nylon. He doesn't have this colorway. Oh, and I picked this up at my local Joann's. Um, this is Cadet Colors. Um, so he doesn't have this color uh, yet. So, and the last color I did for him was pretty wild and crazy. My son had picked it out and it was not something I would pick out. But he picked it out and um, so there are lots of color on my husband's feet. But I think he'll like this blue. So if I cast this on, will it be done by Christmas? It's a very good question. I could potentially get it done. Um, yeah. I could get it done if it was the only thing I was working on. Uh, socks tend to take a little bit longer time, 18 hours total. So could I get it done? Yes, especially if I stayed up a little bit later at night, I could get them done. So I will probably do that. Okay, so this is a super fine yarn, um, size 2.75 millimeter. So that's pretty tiny. US two, so not quite a zero, but definitely fingering weight. Yeah, definitely fingering weight. So that's gonna be 72 stitches around for him. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess I better start on that tonight. So maybe I'll cast that on um, with you guys here and do a little chit chat. Although I chit chatted yesterday, so um, I am gonna post some pictures and hopefully some video of my son singing in the, his class. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy that. Um, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much um, it. Oh, I'm wearing my Magnolia Bloom by Camilla Vad, and uh, this is in my own hand dyed yarn, um, Purple Heaven, and then I paired it with a loft mirth from Knit Picks. So, um, yeah, I felt very dressy today, very festive for, um, yeah. So I actually, this is a very comfortable, I might have to make another one, maybe with a slightly more ease in the waist area, but um, I, oh, so I was going to mention, um, maybe I did this already, I can't really remember. The days are running together. Um, on my field sweater, On my field sweater I did some shaping around yes I talked about this I think I did huh 
I feel like I talked about it already. So if you're getting double, sorry about that. Okay, so this is the front. I did short rows here in the front. Whoop, dropping stitches. Cause that's always fun. Um, so I did short row shaping, let's see, two rows. Did I do two? Hmm. Yes, I did two rows of short row shaping in the front just to um, give a little bit more ease in the breast area. And then, okay, there we go. See, picked it up, no problem. Um, you know, some of those stoppers would be really nice. I should look into getting a couple of those. Okay, then underneath the arm, I knit, so I did the short row shaping and then I knit like 10 rows. And then I added, I started to add a couple increases here and I increased, well, I've done two increases um, every five rows. So maybe I only, I knit, okay. I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm attempting to make this sweater a little bit more comfortable around the midsection. Like, I feel like this is okay up here. Um, but the waist is a little snug. So I wanted a little bit more ease in there. So those are the things I'm doing with my field sweater. Now this will probably go into um, hibernation for uh, until Christmas. Because I really... <sighs> my husband is hard to Christmas shop for. And not because he's hard to shop for, but because if he wants or needs something, he just buys it. So socks are one of the things that he can't just go out and buy. He loves hand knit socks, loves them. If I knit him just a wardrobe of hand knit socks versus buying other socks, he would love that. So that's how I can bless him. That's how he can appreciate a handmade gift. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and I, I might actually think a little bit better about how to do that for next year. I have the last couple of nights I haven't slept well. So I've had this rolling around in my head about um, doing maybe a sock advent for him next year. That would be fun. That would be fun. So like every day he could open a new pair of socks and then he would be set for at least a couple of years. With all hand new socks, he could get rid of the other socks completely out of his wardrobe. Okay, so that's what I'm thinking about. Um, Hubby's gonna be home here shortly, so I need to get dinner on the table. And then I thought maybe we'd have a little cast on party. <laughs> we'll see. Probably. Let's do it. It would be fun. So if you have some socks, let's cast them on. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm ready to cast these on. And um, I thought I had, it called for 2.75 uh, millimeters. And I thought I had those in DPNs, but I do not. So I do have them in the circular 16 inch um, wooden clover circular needles. Um, 2.75. So. And I normally, if you've followed my other vlogs, 
I normally do socks two at a time, either tandemly or on a circular. I'll have two um, socks on the same needle. I'm not gonna do that this time, simply because um, I don't think these 16s are big enough. So I'm not sure what happened to my other pair. They're probably on a pair of socks somewhere and I've put them somewhere and anyway. Okay, let's cast on. I normally cast on with, let's see, for 72, I will do 12 stitches per needle. So 24 stitches total. Actually haven't done socks for a while and normally I have a pair just kind of always around to work on and um, since starting my business I have other things hats I sell a lot of hats two four six eight ten twelve that should be it So now that I have the 12 stitches on there, the first round I'm just going to knit. So I take the bottom needle and I also knit the tail in with um, with the first round. That way I don't have to go back and weave it in. We are all home this evening. John is working on, what are you working on, dear? A belt. He's working on a belt for a customer. And Hudson kind of had a long day with school. So he is <clears throat> in his room playing a video game. He always comes home tired on those school days. Okay, I'm coming to the end of the first round. On this next round, I increase at the beginning and end of each needle. And I do my increases by knitting front back. Some people increase by doing yarn overs. Um, some people increase by doing make ones left and make one right. Um, I have found that I like the knit front back. So I'll knit the first stitch and then the second stitch I knit front back. So um, knit the first one. That creates a nice clean um, increase by doing, by knitting the first one and then doing the increase. And I like that particular increase because it leaves this little front stitch that's kind of sideways and um, it's easy to spot so sometimes when I'm increasing on my toe I lose track because you you only increase every other round 
and sometimes you can get distracted and lose your spot. So that's how I do that so I can see it visually. Um, when you get to the end of the round, you have two stitches left, you do the knit front back increase on the first one and then the very last stitch you just knit. And then you come around and you do it on the other needle. So I'm going to knit the first one, do an increase by knitting front and back of that stitch, and then I'm going to knit until I have two left. Then the next row or round, actually, no increases, you just knit around. And that's how the toe goes until you have the appropriate amount of stitches. I need 72, so that's what I'm going to aim for. And I am going to put a stitch marker to show what is the front of my work and which is the back. because that can easily be confused as well. It's really small yarn. It says extra fine. But it's not a size zero. Okay. I am back around to the beginning and this is what my toe looks like so far. It's just the tip. But I am going to go ahead and put on a progress keeper. That way, when I check back in with you tomorrow, you can see how far I've come. This is really big, but um, this is a progress keeper. I guess I could use that. You would be able to see it. Maybe you can. Okay. And I'm going to put it on the front, which is where I'm at now. And I'm going to put it on my last round I did. Okay, so this is where I'm at. And I'll show you tomorrow how far I got.
to edit the vlog. So I'm going to say good night. This is where I'm at with the toe. I've made it about uh, almost an inch, probably not quite. Um, so I did move the stitch marker up and I'll knit a little bit more tonight and tomorrow and I'll check back with you to see how far I've come. So I hope you all have a nice evening and I'll see you tomorrow.